Okay, so that's the plan. Great plan! Sorry if this clap sounds sarcastic. I sprained my hand playing table tennis. Oh, what the hell are you doing here, Bane? I am here for revenge! <laughs> I gave Ivy and Kate Man a very expensive pasta maker for their wedding! But they didn't get married! <laughs> It's ghost to keep the gift. Yeah, and it's double ghost to ask for it back, you dick stick. And we don't even know where it is. <laughs> <laughs> I asked nicely, but next time I return, there will be no good manners! Uh, usually when a bomb beeps, it's a bad thing. Because they're about to explode. Your card's been declined. Impossible! I use auto pay. Also went paperless to save the trees. Declined. It was a hold for identity theft. You'll have to talk to your bank. This is outrageous! I need to blow up a mall tonight. Could you hold it for me? If I do that for you, I gotta do it for everybody. Oh, you're giving my explosives to freaking Calendar Man? What's he gonna blow up? Valentine's Day? I hate this place. I will take the full fury of my business elsewhere! Okay, ID. I'm Bane. You know, Bane! Bane! Okay, so we put a hold on your account due to suspicious activity, and we can go through the charges. So there's like $20 at Big Belly Burger at 8 a.m. Yeah, I like a breakfast sandwich as much as the next guy. Another $30 at Big Belly Burger at 9 a.m. Well, perhaps more than the next guy. 25 cases of hard seltzer. 100 cows and cheaper in bulk. There's nothing suspicious about this activity. The wedding dress worn by Sarah Jessica Parker in the Sex and the City movie, that was such a cash grab, and you paid $50,000 for it. I'm sorry, what? You can't put a price on a bespoke Vivian Westwood. It's a work of art! I know I'm just like a simple bank teller or whatever, but looking at your purchase history, I'm just like, are you depressed? No, the, it, I couldn't help but wonder, was the teller telling the truth? Was I depressed? Perhaps my identity had been stolen by myself. And so he's Bane. Too bad he sucks. <laughs> totally moved on. He even brought my new boo. You're dating Bane? What? I got a pretty good gig as a seat filler. Uh, my, my girlfriend's not here yet. She's running late, but she's definitely real. I have a girlfriend who is... Oh, you could cut the tension with one of these. That's on them. All they have to do is give me back my pasta maker if they don't want things to be weird. So, going to any of those cool after parties later? Hey, I know it was you, Bane. <clears throat> Who is this Bane you speak of? Never heard of him. Though he does sound like a pretty cool dude. Oh, cut the shit. What were you doing from 5 p.m. until now? Well, 5 p.m. on Wednesday is my standing therapy session. It was a tough one. Got into some trust issues. I think you know why. You won't give me back my pasta maker! The ultimate betrayal! My therapist thinks we would all benefit from a group session. Okay, okay. Then to talk about. Sorry to eavesdrop, but if I am being honest, it seems like there is a lot to talk about. <laughs> this part's always tricky. Could one of you gals help me to unhook my... Not now, Bane! Oh, okay. One rule at orgies, never turn the lights on! But I was almost done carbo-loading for the fuck fest. 